Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the new Star Wars Unlimited starter set. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Welcome to my Star Wars channel. My, my Star Wars channel, right? This is the place where I show you my Star Wars fandom. So it could be anything. Uh, this, this channel doesn't land down on one specific area of uh, my fandom. So I will do uh, videos about vintage toys or the new toys that are just coming out. I've done vintage book reviews. Uh, we've talked about the different games uh, and trading cards. And so, you know, I, I think with most Star Wars fans, we kind of have our finger in a lot of different pots. I don't think any one Star Wars fan says, oh, I, I only like the movies or I only like Galaxy's Edge and nothing else. Like. If you're a Star Wars fan like me, you pretty much like everything, <laughs> right? And I collect everything and I use this channel, I use this space to show you my fandom. And so I'm super excited about Star Wars Unlimited. It's a brand new two-player collectible card game from Fantasy Flight. Fantasy Flight has put out most of the recent uh, Star Wars collectible card games. I've even done some reviews for several of them. There's a There's several different uh, gameplay videos or gameplay reviews here on the channel as well. And I thought, you know what? I've got some other uh, games that, you know, I haven't pulled out in a while. I could pull those out. Let's do some classic uh, games. I'll show you some vintage cards as well, I think, going forward. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. But Fantasy Flight! Fantasy Flight! Um, man, we've been waiting for this, I think. I, I think at first when I heard about this, I was kind of excited, but also a little trepidatious because uh, the way Star Wars games usually go is there's all this hype, there's all this buildup, and we start to build community around it, and then the game just kind of falls apart and nothing happens. And you've seen that with other collectible card games, not just Star Wars, but it's hard to get into that realm to compete against Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, those are your top three, and, and to, to kind of break that wall and get into that, you know, uh, that upper echelon, that's that's difficult to do. And I know Lorcana has been trying uh, recently, but the issue that I've seen with Lorcana is you have a huge fan base of just Disney fans who are buying all the cards and not allowing uh, people who actually want to play the game play the game. And and I so I kind of had a, a wall uh, go up in front of me when I was getting into Lorcana, and so. I think now, I, I think I'm just going to pass. I'm going to pass on Lorcana completely and put, I'm, up, I'm, I'm going all in. <laughs> I'm going all in on Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, the last video, I showed you the starter deck for Darth Vader. And so this time around, we will show you the starter deck for Luke Skywalker. Let's go. And of course, let's look at the box first. Uh, last time we took a look at the Darth Vader deck Today we'll be looking at the Luke Skywalker deck. Just figured it was easier to do one deck at a time. And when you get this initially, it shows you the playlist, right? The card list of every single card inside each deck. That way, if you end up getting uh, subsequent booster packs and you mix cards in and out, if you ever wanna go back to your original starter and see exactly what it looks like, um, you can refer back to the box, but this is a two-player game, ages 12 and up from Fantasy Flight Games. Let's open it up. Of course, one reason to get this starter pack is to get the extra items that are included. Uh, because this game is so popular and, you know, everybody loves Star Wars, they've purchased a lot of the extra-large playmats that were available, a lot of the plastic transparent tokens, they're all sold out everywhere. And so if you want tokens and you want a playmat, uh, you should get the starter deck just to start off with. Since we're looking at Luke today, you're going to notice that it has a picture of Luke on the back, and then the other side has spaces for all your units, your base, your leader, your command units, resources, and then there's helpful notes and reference guides. So if you're just starting out, those references are there to help you as you learn the game. And along with that, you'll get the cardboard punch-out tokens that you uh, can use. And they are double-sided, double-printed. And pro yes, they're not as exciting as, you know, the, the transparent uh, tokens that GameGenic has put out. But, you know, right now they're, they're sold out and they're very hard to find. And so these are, I think, your next best. 
And you will also get a Star Wars Unlimited Spark of Rebellion play guide. And if you've ever purchased a game from Fantasy Flight before, you know that they're very good uh, with their instructions. Their instructions are very clear. I know there's lots of YouTube channels out there that tell you how to play, but depending on how fast a reader you are and how well versed you are at collectible card games, you might just wanna start with the rule book. It might get you going a lot faster. Another nice thing about getting the starter pack is you're gonna get a box for your deck. Now, yes, there are bo custom boxes out there that have a little bit more features, they look nicer, but you know, when you're just starting out and you wanna jump in and feel like you've got the game, uh, it's nice that you've got uh, one of these that are available. So we're looking at Luke today. So this is Luke's box. All you have to do is squeeze there. The, the bottom uh, will click right in place. You just fold the flaps over and then you have the tongue and tuck flap there and you're all set to go. And if you are wondering, yes, the boxes are big enough to support the cards with sleeves. And you can purchase special Star Wars Unlimited sleeves as well to go along with your cards. I love the look and smell of brand new cards, don't you? Especially when it's a brand new game. Uh, I've been waiting for Star Wars Unlimited for such a long time. I've always been a big fan of Fantasy Flight. I've played all the Fantasy Flight games, own them all, still own several, including the original Decipher game. I have the original Decipher uh, Star Wars collectible card game. Of course, uh, it's, it's in my heart forever because it's, it's such a classic. But these cards have a nice smooth feel. They glide from hand to hand very well. Here's your commander, Luke Skywalker, faithful friend. And so when you're building your own deck, uh, if you're not getting a starter deck, you will need a commander in your deck. And uh, he deploys like this, very similar to a uh, commander in Magic the Gathering. But then when you deploy him to the battlefield, you're gonna flip him this way. He has a deploy cost of six, a strength of four, and health of seven. Also in deck building, you will always need a base. And so the base that comes with this is Administrator's Tower. And uh, you will need this and a commander when building your deck. The other thing to note about deck building is you have a few symbols here in the corner. And so just like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, this denotes how you would build your deck. Uh, having support cards that also have these symbols are gonna work the best with this set. Of course, you can include cards that don't have these symbols, but you will have to pay extra deploy costs, uh, extra resources to deploy them to the field. All right, let's look at the cards. First, you're going to get three experience cards. It's a plus one, plus one with a deploy cost of zero. You will also get the 2-1-B surgical droid, a strength of one, health of one, and a deploy cost of one. Everybody's favorite little buddy, R2-D2, he has a strength of one, a health of four, and a deploy cost of one. You'll also need a fleet of X-Wings, strength of two, health of three, deploy cost of two. And everyone's favorite protocol droid, C-3PO, a strength of one, health of four, and a deploy cost of two. Rebel Pathfinder, this is a Rebel Trooper, Strength of two, health of three, and a deploy cost of two. Here's a restored ARC-170, it's a rebel fighter, with a strength of two, defense of three, and a deploy cost of two. Three copies of Leia Organa, with a strength of two, health of two, and deploy cost of two. Rogue Operative, another rebel trooper, strength of two, health of four, and deploy cost of three. Three copies of Fleet Lieutenant, with a strength of three, health of three, and a deploy cost of three. Wing Leader, with a strength of two, defense of one, and a deploy cost of three. Yoda, your force Jedi, strength of two, health of four, and deploy cost of three. Cloud City Wingard, with a strength of two, health of four, and a deploy cost of three. System Patrol Craft, a strength of three, health of four, and a deploy cost of four. Three copies of a security force, with a strength of three, health of seven, and a deploy cost of four. The Liberator Gunship, Strength of three, health of four, and a deploy cost of four. General Dandana, strength of four, health of four, and deploy cost of four. Snow Speeder, strength of three, defense of six, and a deploy cost of five. Here's a copy of Chewbacca, strength of three, health of six, and a deploy cost of five. Honor Guards, strength of four, defense of six, and a deploy cost of five. Obi-Wan Kenobi, strength of four, defense of six, and deploy cost of six. Han Solo, Strength of five, defense of six, and deploy cost of seven. Resilient, 
with a plus zero for strength, but a plus three for health, and a deploy cost of one. Three copies of Luke's lightsaber gives you a plus three plus one with a deploy cost of two. Two copies of repair, which is a supply, which is a deploy cost of one. Shoot first, this is a trick with a deploy cost of one. Two copies of Asteroid Sanctuary, also a trick, with a deploy cost of two. Two copies of Surprise Attack, deploy cost of two. Two copies of Waylay, with a deploy cost of three. Three copies of Vanquish, which is a tactic, with a deploy cost of five. And that's everything. That is everything in the Luke Skywalker starter deck. So if you're looking forward to seeing some boosters, uh, I'll be doing some booster unboxings pretty soon. So look forward to that. All right, so that's the Luke Skywalker deck. And uh, I think my next purchases that I would start looking for, I want to look for the uh, extra large game mat. That's pretty much sold out everywhere. I drove all around uh, my hometown going from book, uh, you know, comic book store to game store looking for it. And, you know, they're sold out any, everywhere. The acrylic game tokens from GameGenic sold out everywhere. So uh, it, it's nice that this starter set at least comes with paper ones just to get you off the ground, right? And I would say if you're looking for those things, don't panic. I'm sure GameGenic is going to put out more. Don't, don't go out and buy the imitations and the knockoffs. I think you just have a little patience, wait for the GameGenic ones to come back out. I think we'll all be, we'll all be pleased and we'll all, there'll be, there'll be some for everybody. I, th I think people understand that there's a lot of Star Wars fans out there and we tend to like products and merchandise uh, when it comes out. And so, you know, you, you, you slap Star Wars on something, it could be a spatula, right? And we're, we're going to buy it. So uh, I'm sure GameGenic has more uh, coming up in the works and I'm going to make more videos. I will make more content videos. I got some, some booster packs. We're going to do some unboxings and look at some various cards. We'll talk about strategy. We'll talk about deck building. We'll do all that. We'll do all that. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.